Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions. And today we have a duet between Matt Gartska and Josh De La Victoria. I saw Josh recently on the Interval song, Lock and Key, and he kind of blew my mind. So I had to kind of search out more. And we have this kind of duet here, and it's named Kepler. So uh, I had to do it, and I think Josh is incredible, and I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to watch this one as well. So thanks for joining me. If you like this kind of thing, please like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, let's go from there. Uh, here we go. Kepler. These kind of videos are great because I love drummers uh, almost as much as guitar players. And it's so cool to see this kind of over the top shots that like, I don't know how you pronounce the symbol company. Is it meal or something like that? Anyway, I'm familiar with the name, but I love these kind of videos because they're not from the guitar player's standpoint or whatever. And you get to see the drum player just kind of really work in the kit. And it's just really, really fascinating. That was cool. So the tempo shifted, or at least the feel. I don't know how you would do that, but I know how you would do it. But I love that kind of subtle, kind of coalesces into a different kind of feel. So uh, anyway, uh, Josh looks like he, or it sounds like he's using some kind of harmonizer. Uh, I love doing these videos because it just sends me down a rabbit hole as far as like their equipment. Uh, he's using, looks like to be kind of like a custom Strat with the humbucker and the, the bridge and uh, you know, who knows, but actually if it's new or old or whatever, but I'd love to find that out as well, but some cool stuff going on for sure here.
So there you have it. That is uh, obviously Matt and Josh just doing a like a really big rhythm workout. Obviously, Matt is an incredible drummer, and Josh is an incredible rhythm player and a stellar soloist. So uh, there's some kind of guitar figures in there and stuff, but I wouldn't say there was solos per se. Uh, and I think this was obviously, considering it's a cymbals company, they're trying to kind of focus on Matt's playing and kind of the kind of playing with someone else, bouncing stuff off, and just kind of doing uh, what I think is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. Someone that is probably one of the best guitar players around as far as solo stuff goes, as far as technique, and he chose to kind of basically just do rhythm stuff, play off the drums, and kind of put some melodic, kind of harmonized stuff in there, some some runs and stuff. It wasn't without, you know, single note stuff, but uh, a lot of cool rhythm variations and then changes and all sorts of stuff. So that's really, really cool. And to not have that bass player kind of backing you up, um, it just goes to show you what a great guitar player he is. And obviously Matt's an incredible drummer. So this was a really, really fun one to do. I hope to do more with Josh and even Matt. Um, I've done... Uh, I don't actually I don't think I've done any polyphony. No, I've done three songs, I think, in the past. So um, I've definitely checked him out during those three songs. And I'm always impressed with his drumming and as far as those songs were concerned. And now it just kind of adds to the uh, the mix or whatever, as far as I'm concerned. And he delivered the goods for sure. So uh cool duet thing. Uh, is this a record? I'm not sure. So it looks like I have some kind of investigating to do i guess so anyway i am brian thanks for checking this out and i'll see you soon <laughs>